supporting Eagles. My name is Keelan. Here at GW, we try to be prompt, polite, and prepared to every single graduation and school center for a college career. Here today, October 24, 2024, we have a super story in ADHD. Let's get into ADHD and the fact of maintaining a grade. Hey Eagles, my name is Keelan, and me and Timothy interviewed a specialist on ADHD, Mrs. McGarity. What science says, ADHD is actually genetic. Um, you, you get it from, you know, biology, from your family. However, there are a number of things that can contribute, first of all, that would, could make your ADHD symptoms more significant. Um, trauma can do that. Um, and. Also, I would say in the short term, like, you know, of course, lack of sleep, not getting good enough, having good enough diet, um, not getting adequate exercise. Um, while people with ADHD thrive with good exercise. According to NPR.org, in the United States, one in nine children between the ages of three to 17 have been diagnosed with ADHD. So there's a lot of short-term stuff such as that. And I would say long-term, um, definitely trauma is one. I wanna say, substance use too. Um, I'm not quite sure 100% on that, but I know that trauma can definitely trigger um, or can definitely enhance ADHD symptoms. According to Medical Express, at least 44% of people with ADHD have received behavioral retreatment this past year. As far as like, oh, you, you people can grow out of ADHD. Actually, it really more is, I think people learn to cope better with their ADHD as they get older. And sometimes that can be perceived as, oh, they must have outgrown it. They really haven't. They just developed coping skills to really help with um, their ADHD symptoms. According to the National Library of Medicine, adults with ADHD, 58% have either moderate or severe ADHD. Other thing I was gonna to say to that too, is that there's this thing, I don't know if you've heard about it, but it's called masking, where people can also like fake it until they make it act as if, find a lot of that in ADHD as well. According to Medical Express, a total of 53% of people with ADHD have received ADHD medication. Thank you, Mrs. McGarity, for the interview. Well, Eagles, look out for the signs. Most of them are coming. I'm Keelan reporting for ENN. Hey, Eagles, now into the ADHD skit. FCA will meet Fridays in room 1226 after school. All are welcome. Come to hear a good word. JROTC Raiders practice is every Tuesday and Thursday. You must be in JROTC to join. Stat Squatch Club will meet weekly on Thursdays in room 1226. Come and join in for the fun and the adventure. <laughs> Well, Eagles, that's all for today's show. I hope you learned something new, like always. I'm Keelan reporting for it, Ian.